Mrs. Stavros couldn't have seen Wendy here. I'm sure she has the day wrong. I had children here Sunday for a workshop. Well, the school said uh, you were all through with the workshops. Well, that doesn't mean that I've stopped helping the kids. Well, what were you doing Monday, Miss Fennedy? I was working on my books, children's books. Better than romper room up there. I'm sorry it's such a mess. I don't come down here much. Um, there's a storeroom in here. I checked it. You doing some construction? The contractor said we needed a wall to support the playroom. Look, um, I know you're doing your job, but I'm really worried about all the time you're wasting when you could be looking for Wendy. Just let us worry about Wendy. We'll be in touch. Well, her concern is touching. Are you still sure she has her? I hope you guys found something. I'm not exactly looking forward to another eight hours out here. Well, maybe she'll invite you in for tea. Well, she knows we're around. You think if she's got the girl stashed somewhere, she's going to lead us to her? I don't think she's going to let the kids starve. She could already be dead, honey. Yeah, and she could still be in that house, OK? Well, we just searched the house. We looked around. That cinder block wall in the basement. Fennedy said it was for a playroom built a year ago. And we got neighbors who saw Cinderbox on the sidewalk a month ago. You think maybe she's got a Houdini room? Well, let's find the contractor and see what kind of shoe this lady's building. Miss Fennedy, real good people. Most people won't let you use the toilet. She gave us milk and cookies. You build a bearing wall in her basement? Those old brownstones are overbuilt as it is. Yeah, she didn't need any structural support. So you never touched the basement? No, she asked us about maybe putting in a maid's room downstairs. I gave her an estimate, but uh, she never got back to me. So how long has it been since you actually did work for her? About uh, eight months ago. She ordered some materials through me last month. Cinder blocks, cement? Yeah, yeah, copper pipes, fixtures, flooring. All the makings for a nice, cozy hideout. This woman has dedicated her life to the children of this city. There is no reason you should be harassing her. Unless you back off, I'm going to slap you with an injunction. Go for it. Any judge will see our actions are consistent with a normal police investigation. You have no idea how destructive your actions are. Parents come over with their kids. They see police cars parked outside. Neighbors are calling, asking what's going on. Miss Fennedy's even gotten calls from the media. Well, Miss Siegel, you have your job and we have ours. As long as Miss Fennedy remains a suspect in the disappearance of a child, we have no intention of backing off. That's your line in the sand. Fine. Nice performance. It is just a performance. Unless we get some results, the minute Siegel gets to a judge, school's out. Well, before she gets an injunction, we're going to need another search warrant. Judge Romney's a defendant's judge. He might see a second search as part of a pattern of harassment. Well, how's he going to see Ms. Fennedy lying to us about her remodeling? One last time, Ms. Fennedy. What's behind that wall? I don't know. I wasn't here when they built it. It's probably nothing. There could be dead space on the other side, but no way through that we can find. Tommy, tell the press to work from the other side of the street, all right? Strike out up there? Anything? Yeah, the walled off part of the basement is right under this floor here. Your warrant specifies you're not allowed to tear anything up. Ms. Fennedy, how many other TVs do you have in the house? Two. Uh, one upstairs in my bedroom and one in the playroom. Really? Then why do you have four lines splitting off from the cable junction here? Huh? This line goes right through the closet floor. You want to tell me now? Wendy? Are you all right?
Docket number 286721, People versus Arnett Benedy. Charges are kidnapping in the second degree, custodial interference in the first degree, endangering the welfare of a child in the first degree. How do you plead? Not guilty. People request that the defendant be held without bail, Your Honor. My client is not a violent felon. She abducted a 10-year-old girl off the street and held her in a basement. We don't want to put the girl at further risk. Your Honor, save it, Miss Siegel. I have three of my own. Bail is 250000 Aren't you on the wrong side of the plate here, Rose? I thought children's rights attorneys defended minors, not their abductors. Sometimes defending an alleged abductor is in the best interest of the child. Miss Benedy took Wendy without the consent of her legal guardian. We've got our prima facie case. If you're looking for a deal here... Never crossed my mind. I want you to drop the case entirely. If you look past the statutes for a second, you'd see that Arnett Fennedy was trying to save that child. Do you have any idea what Wendy's life was like before she took her to her home? Oh, and it was really improved by being stuck in a cellar? Look, I know this woman would never hurt a child. If you have any doubts, have your experts talk to her. Have them talk to Wendy. I guarantee you'll see the light. We had pizza with pepperoni. Then she shooed me into my room. She said I'd be safe just as long as no one found out. Did she make you stay in the room the entire time? No, I came up for a party. What party? A birthday party. She had a cake for me. It was chocolate with ten candles on it. It was your birthday? My birthday's in October. I'll be 11. This was Crystal's. Who's Crystal? I don't know. That's what's on the cake. Did Miss Fennedy ever hurt you? No. We read poems and played games. Weren't you worried that Beatrice might miss you? Miss Fennedy said I could use the phone. She said I could call. Did you? Thank you very much, Wendy. If she were mistreated, I don't think she'd keep it a secret. So Fennedy honestly kidnapped children to save them? Children? Well, she did the same thing four years ago, the six-year-old girl. Is there a way I could interview Miss Fennedy? It's possible. I don't think her lawyer would object. Are you sure you don't want your attorney present? I don't need my attorney. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. Wendy was happier with me. Didn't she tell you that? That's not the point. Her mother, her, her foster mother, they didn't love Wendy. It's hard for us to know how they felt. I know how you're supposed to feel. Have you had those feelings yourself? God gives people children. And he sometimes takes them away. How would you know anything about that? I don't, but I have a feeling that you do. Did you lose a child? How old would she be now? Ten? It must have been very painful for you. She was nine months old when she died. You loved her very much. I'd do anything for her. Just like you'll do for Wendy. Do you know what they did? Do you know how they treated her? Nobody treats Crystal that way, nobody. You pray hard enough. Sometimes God answers your prayer. 